Today, we're doing part one of two video lessons on experimental and theoretical probability. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start with experimental probability, and just like the name suggests, experimental probability is just a probability based on the results of an experiment. To find an experimental probability is pretty simple. The probability of an event is just the number of times that event occurs divided by the total number of trials. Pretty simple. All right, now that we understand that, let's get to our first example. All right, example one. The table shows the results of spinning this spinner 50 times. What is the experimental probability of spinning a blue? Okay, well first, where did I get those results? Uh, I actually didn't make a spinner and sit here and spin it 50 times. There's a great website, NCTM. The link is in the description. You can customize your own spinner. Uh, you can decide how many sectors or sections the spinner has. You can choose the number of spins. In this case, I did 50. And maybe the best feature is that you don't have to sit there and wait until all 50 happen. You can click skip to the end and then it'll just show your results. So if you want to do this on your own, go to the website and give it a try. All right, so now for the question, the event is spinning a blue, so the probability of blue, we'll put that in parentheses, is gonna be equal to the number of times it landed on blue, which if we look at the table was eight, divided by the total number of trials. Well, how many times did we spin the spinner? If you remember, we spun it 50 times. You could even double check by finding the sum of all of those counts. And if you add them up, the answer is 50. So. The probability of blue is going to be 8 over 50, but we can simplify that, divide the numerator and denominator by 2, and that gives us 4 over 25. That would be the fraction uh, answer. We could change that into a percent, right? Pretty easy, times numerator and denominator by 4 to get it over 100, which would be 16%, or even as a decimal, we could write it as 0 0.16. Which means out of all 50 of those spins, 16% of the time, it landed on blue. Let's try another example. Example two, I caught blank out of blank pencil flips. If this trend continues, how many pencil flips should I expect to catch out of 50? Hmm, well, that's a very good question. Notice this question is not really finished. It says blank and blank pencil flips, so I guess to find an experimental probability, first thing I need to do is an experiment. All right, let's collect some data. So I'm gonna flip it 10 times, see how many I catch out of 10. Yes. Oh. Oh, no. All right, not my best performance. Maybe I'm a little bit rusty, but at least we got some results. So I caught seven out of the 10 pencil flips. Now we can use those results to find my experimental probability for catching a pencil flip. So probability of a catch, well, that's equal to how many times did I catch it? Seven out of how many times did we do the experiment? How many times did I actually flip it total? Well, I did it 10 times. So experimental probability of catching a pencil flip is seven out of 10. Now, we need to use that to help me predict how many catches I would get out of 50. I don't wanna sit here and do 50 pencil flips and count all of them. I wanna use the information from doing the 10 to make a, hopefully a good prediction. So a couple different ways we could do this. If I think about it, that experimental probability means I caught seven tenths of the flips, right? Seven tenths or 70% or 0 0.7, I caught 70% of them or seven tenths of the flips. So if I'm doing 50 flips, I can figure out how many I sh should expect to catch by just using multiplication. If you think of it this way, seven tenths of the flips, well, seven tenths of 50 in this case, that just means seven tenths times 50. So if I do that, again, before I multiply, always, always, always try to simplify first, 
So I can simplify the 10 and the 50, that becomes one, that becomes five, seven times five is 35. So out of 50 flips, I would expect to catch 35 of them. Now here's a few to try on your own. All right, so that was experimental probability. Stay tuned for the next video to learn all about theoretical probability.